Minister Akunis, what an honor to uh, meet you and spend time with you. I understand this is your first international interview uh, since you took the position of Minister of Regional Cooperation. It's very good to host you here, Joel, actually here in the Knesset in Jerusalem, in, a, in one of the greatest times of Israel in the last decade. And I will tell you why. Uh, we are talking these days about a, a real new Middle East. Uh, the peace treaty with the uh, Emirates that the Prime Minister is uh, supposed to sign next week in Washington. This is a huge opportunity to build a real new Middle East, not the new Middle East that we talked about in the 90s. Shimon Perez and Shimon Perez and the Oslo agreements. We are talking about a peace treaty with the Emirates. And I think that we have here, uh, uh, let's say, a huge opportunity uh, to establish a real economic uh, regional cooperation here with the Emirates and with others. And I can say that uh, I want the Jordanians to be part, and the Egyptians, and even uh, even Cyprus can be <laughs> part of the new Middle East. Wow, that's you can see this is the map of, of the Middle East. Now we are talking about direct flights from Tel Aviv to Abu Dhabi. This is huge. That's amazing. Uh, have you ever been to uh, the United Arab Emirates? <laughs> Actually, I visited uh, in Dubai in 2005 at, uh, to the IMF. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And But I was then an assistant to a minister, okay. a minister of uh, finance, but not as a minister, no, okay. unfortunately not yet. But I'm looking forward. I suppose that it will happen right after the um, signing in DC. Uh, next, the signing in DC will be next week. I don't know if, I, if the, my visit will be sure. uh, soon enough, but uh, uh, I want it to be uh, very soon. As we understand it, there's a major uh, White House signing probably next week, sometime the 15th or 16th of September, and then a major delegation of the UAE uh, leadership coming here September 22nd. What's the significance? Um, it's pretty dramatic. Uh, we've never seen this in 25 years. It's not pretty dramatic. It's very dramatic. I think, first of all, you're right. I think this since the last true peace treaty with Jordan in 1994, so this is the, the, the newest, and this is the uh, uh, new and, 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 let's say, important peace treaty with, from, with uh, Israel with an Arab uh, state and uh, with the Emirates. And, and, and it will be before Rosh Hashanah, the, yeah, before the, the Jewish holidays. That, so that, so we help us understand to, why it's important, because most people don't understand the religious significance. This is very important because we want to start uh, the official uh, relations between uh, the, the countries. This is this is the the importance before of the new the year. Signing. Of course, before the, no, we will we will not we can do it before the new year before, because the signing will be only two days before okay. the new year. But okay. we want the Emirates em, uh, embassy. I hope that it will be in Jerusalem. Maybe it will be in Tel Aviv. I want it to be in Jerusalem, like the American embassy, uh, and we want the Israeli uh, embassy in Abu Dhabi as well. So if you want the embassies, you must sign the agreement. So this is the reason that we want it as fast as possible. And, and generally, it's good to sign a, a peace treaty as soon as possible, exactly. uh, like we did with, with Egypt and in Jordan in the last 40 years. Now, evangelical Christians, 600 million worldwide, 60 million in the United States, mm -hmm. take a great interest, have a great love for Israel, and a great interest in peace, right? We're, we're commanded in the Bible to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. What's your message to evangelicals and, and, and why the relationship between evangelicals and Israel is so important? Because I think that it's the, the only safe place for the real safe place for Christians. And the only place where the population is going, is growth and going up is here in Israel, because this is a real uh, uh, democracy. Uh, we are, I think that it's, you know, like, like uh, uh, the, the most, even if I may, the most important place to Christians here in Eretz Israel, here in Jerusalem, in Nazareth, in Bethlehem, even I want to tell you something, a little secret, please. It's not a secret, but it's, uh, I, I don't know how many people know the place, Kasser el Yahud, where, where the Christian used to uh, baptize the, 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 the Jesus and, the, and of course, all John the others. Baptist, yes. I, well, yeah, of course. And where is it? Where is it? It's 25 minutes from here. 
It's 25 minutes from the Knesset in Jerusalem. If I may uh, use the map. This is Jerusalem, and here is the Allenby Crossing, and here is Kasser el Yehud. And Kasser el Yehud, actually, it's, the, uh, it's number three in the most important places to, to the Christians in, in every, everywhere in the world, including the Kasser el Yehud crossing nearby, Allenby crossing. I want to build, and I am responsible as the Minister of Regional Cooperation to Kasser el Yehud, the place that uh, the, the Christians uh, baptized. And, and of course, we're talking about Nazareth, we are talking about uh, uh, Bethlehem as well, and here in Jerusalem, et cetera, et cetera, the other, the other places. Uh, we have a very uh, long ally with the Christian community, uh, first of all here in Israel, and of course uh, among the Christian community all over the world. And I, I'm asking you, uh, Joel, and you uh, to come to right after that we will <laughs> we will find out all the solutions to the coronavirus to come to Israel to visit in Israel in the holy places you will be safer and we will continue with a strong ally between us. Well, I appreciate this very much. I, it's an important relationship between uh, Israel and the evangelicals, and I appreciate an opportunity to talk to you about it, Minister, and especially for all Israel news and your first international uh, interview since taking this important role. Thank you very much, Joel. You are always welcome to the Knesset in Jerusalem, and all of you, you are always welcome to the Holy City and to the Holy Land, to Israel, to the State of Israel, and to the Holy City of Jerusalem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.